Okay, in today's lesson we're going to look at product of primes and how to write numbers as product of primes. Okay, so I'm going to start off by looking at an example. Uh, let's look at 30. So to write 30 as a product of primes, let's all, first of all look at the words. Product means multiply, which you get when you multiply numbers together. And primes obviously are your prime numbers. If you can't remember what your prime numbers are, watch the video Prime Numbers Now. Okay, so to write 30 as a product of primes, first of all you think of two numbers that will multiply together to give you 30. Well, I'm going to start off with 3 and 10. All right, 3 is a prime number, so you're going to circle that. 10 isn't. Okay, 10. Now think of two numbers to times together to give you 10. Well, 2 times 5 is 10, so 2 times 5. 2 is prime, so you circle that. 5 is prime, so you circle that. And then we're finished. So 30 equals, and I just normally put these three numbers in numerical order, so 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 times 3 times 5. So let's just check that. 2 times 3 is 6, times 5 is 30. So there you go, we've written 30 as a product of prime numbers. Let's look at another example. Okay, the next question says, write 28 as a product of primes. So, we start off with 28, and you think of two numbers of times together to give you 28. Uh, 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. 4 is not prime, so you don't circle that, but 7 is, so circle your 7. 4 is not prime, so you think of two numbers that will times together to give you 4. Uh, don't choose 4 and 1 because you always want to, uh, because that will just mean that you've got the 4 again. So start up, think of two numbers that are different, uh, not like 1 in itself. So, so here we've got 2 times 2. 2 is prime, so you circle it, and 2 is prime, so you circle it. And there we're finished. So 28 equals 2 times 2 times 7. Now, um, that's in this question, that's fine, uh, because it write 20 as a product of primes. Some, sometimes you'll see it as this, um, as a product of prime in index form. If it ever says in index form, see this 2 times 2, well 2 times 2 is 2 squared times 7. So if you've ever got like 2 times 2, you can write 2 squared, and that would be an index form. Okay, let's look at another example. Okay, uh, the question says, write 32 as a product of primes in index form. So, uh, 32 is 2 times 16. 2 is prime, so you circle that, 16 is not. Uh, 16 is 2 times 8. 2 is prime, circle it, 8 isn't. Uh, 8 is 2 times 4. 2 is prime, 4 isn't. And 4 is 2 times 2. They're both prime, so circle them both. So 32 equals 2, 3, 4, 5, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Remember the question says in index form, so that would be 32 equals 2 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 to the 5. Fantastic. And that's how you write numbers as product of primes. To see how it's useful, watch the videos uh, finding LCM and HCF, least common or lowest common multiple, and highest common factor using product of primes. So that's why you'll use product of primes.